By the visit, call waiting, call blocking, call notification behaviors and many more. Do watch the whole video guys. Hey guys, I'm Avil back again with another video. This time it is about some tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you based on the questions that you've been asking me. There are certain problems that um, we Android users face, whether it is on Nokia phones or any other stock Android phones. So I believe that this video will help you to get rid of some of them. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, then a big thank you to all of you guys. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is call notification after the Pi update, whether it is on Nokia phones or even the Asus Zenfone. Some of the users are saying that uh, they're not getting the call notification. It's a minor bug, but you can fix it through a trick. I have already, already done a video on this, but one of my viewers, Avishek, Avishek, if you're watching this, then big thank you to you because because of you I've got to, to know a new thing right so keep doing this now the thing that I would show you is that um, you know how to get the notification whether it is missed call or whether your phone is actually not waking up with incoming calls so you can fix it how to do it let me show you now tap on this phone app there you have this info then you go to notification here you can see that miss calls right this is not being selected select it then if you tap on here here you can see that behavior now you have to set the behavior that you want now let me show you what are the options that you have make sound and pop on screen make sound so show silently now if i select this one make sound then what happens let me show you that Suppose I'm dialing my number now. So now you can see that uh, the ring is there, but no pop up. Okay. So what I have to do now? Okay. Tap here. But if I scroll it down, the miss call alert is there, right? But if I tap here now, go to info and notification. And if I to select this one okay and if I dial the number again what happens so now you can see that the ring is there if I disconnect it will not show me the notification of missed call what I have to do go to phone app then recent there I can see the notification here right so what do you have to do phone app info notifications select this miss call notification then incoming call step on it behavior and then make sound and pop on screen select this one make sound and pop on screen now if i dial the number again now what happens now you can see that it is pop being on the screen so this is what is the problem that some of the users are facing so i believe this will help you guys to get rid of this problem okay even if the phone is locked still it will work if you just select this one phone app info notification then incoming calls behavior make sound and pop on screen so i believe this will help you guys next thing is that some of you are saying that you are not uh, getting the uh, you know the option to block numbers you just go to phone app and these three dots let me show you uh, this is the option three dots vertical dots settings then you can see this option block numbers right there you what do you have to do add numbers the number that you would like to add uh, you know block you just have to add here now another option that is missing in case of some users like uh, they are saying that they are not finding the option to uh, block or you know to activate call waiting what do you have to do calling accounts tap on the same here okay there you have this option additional settings go there okay here there is a problem network card error so maybe my sim card <laughs> It is something that is missing. Let me do it again. 
yeah it worked now you can say that calling waiting right it is on so it should work okay now again go back then again tap on it it should show you that it is it is on okay if it is off that means it is not working but some of the users are saying that even they turn this on what happens it is not working so if you are not getting this uh, block number or call waiting is not working then what do you have to do I'm just telling you you just give a try if it works that's really great app notifications setting the app notifications then see all apps okay there you can show this show system okay then I think uh, without this system also it should so you know hide system then phone search for the phone app where is it this one this is the storage clear catch clear storage okay and after this this option should be there next thing is that uh, if it doesn't work then what do you have to do go to go to play store then search for the app phone phone this one Google now make sure that your phone app is up to date if it is not then update the app okay and try this and if it works then do, do let me know even if it it is not working then also let me know now next thing is YouTube some of the users are saying that um, when they play any video on YouTube suppose let me play one of my own videos okay so was this one when they play video what happens they get uh, you know one cross button here and forward and backward button is there and they have to actually uh, you know close it again and again so the reason is that now it is not there right let me show you why it will be like that now if you go to settings there you have this option called accessibility there you go to this option accessibility menu and then turn this on okay if you turn this on you can see this logo here okay in some of the cases some of the android phones they don't show this option uh, the logo here or the icon here now what happens if you play one video on youtube again suppose let me play the same video now you can see that right this cross button and this forward and backward so i have to close it yes. right so what do you have to do to get rid of this you just have to turn off this accessibility menu option go to accessibility then you have this option accessibility menu turn this off and that's done so you won't get those uh, buttons okay next thing is weather this is a question that most of the users are asking me that how to get this you uh, know weather wizard here if you tap here weather will be shown now the question is that um, how to get it but it is a bug I would say because after the Pi update um, you know even it fluctuates uh, on my phone also sometimes it, it will pop on sometimes it will not so but there is a trick that you can try just go to Google app okay like this slide it from there tap here okay here you can see this customize discover scroll down to weather weather updates turn this on then again view all settings weather updates turn this on weather updates for your location turn this on but make sure that your location is on then if you want to change the unit there suppose celsius or fahrenheit celsius and then done after this what happens you should see this uh, fluctuation here okay if it is there that means the setting has been done then that means it is changed now let me show you this now it is centigrade right so it should work if it doesn't then just try to restart the phone once and it should work okay if it doesn't then do let me know next thing is you know some of the users say that uh, suddenly they get a notification that UI is not responding or UI has stopped this is something that uh, which is really common but this is due to certain things like if you use third-party apps you know many third-party apps or if you use battery saver then the system prevents you know from loading certain application and that is the error that it get so if you are getting that kind of error I would suggest that 
uninstall all the third party apps means the you know junk apps i would say or um, avoid using third party um what i would say launchers particularly right now another way of doing this you have to go to settings then apps and notifications there you can see that all apps tap on these three the vertical buttons reset all app preferences so if you reset it it will clear all the cache memory everything okay it will set it to other options to default so try doing this if it helps do let me know reset app preferences now next thing is what's up right one of my viewers uh, he asked me that uh, he's getting all the you know what's up um, status um, photos here now how to get rid of that right if you're getting those you know photos that you don't want what do you have to do go to file app here suppose let me show you that where is the file app file app because we don't have the inbuilt file manager on nokia phones so after that what you have to do go to internal storage here okay so here you should find the whatsapp folder it should be there let me show you that where is it yeah this one and then you go to media and this is the option that is what status right what do you have to do select this one and delete everything whatever here in my case nothing is there so it will not show anything but in your case if it is there just delete and i believe that that will remove the apps or the photos images from your photo gallery if it helps do let me know now next thing is um how to get the black theme here right dialer now it is uh, white how to get the black theme if you go to settings right then display then dark theme turn this on that's it guys it's very simple right now how to you know add the sd card as your default storage on nokia 6.1 plus i haven't found it and same the case with this uh, nokia 5.1 plus but one thing i have found that what you can do uh, you can store the photos the videos to your sd card how to do it go to uh, camera then settings here right data storage save pictures on sd card so you just have to select this so i hope this will help you but uh, uh, at present i haven't found any uh, ways to set the sd card as default storage if i come across then i will let you know and if you already know it then do let me know in the comment section right now another thing is that uh, how to block notification of certain apps because there are a lot of no notifications that we receive and if you don't want to go get those then just do one thing go to settings then apps and notifications suppose you don't want to get the notifications from whatsapp no or fb suppose let me show you that so apps then where is fb facebook then notifications if you just turn this on then you will get the options to select if you just turn this off no notification will be shown suppose you don't want to get um, notifications of reminders then select this one okay means to select it so that will not be shown if you don't want to get anything then just turn this off for all the notification so this is the way that you can block the notification if you don't like receiving many notifications so i believe you know these are the things that uh, some of the users are facing i believe this will help you guys and if it helps then do let me know in the comment section and if it doesn't then also do let me know because that will help me to uh, look for other ways other tips and tricks right and your questions they really help me to learn more about android and to make more videos so continue doing this so till the next video cheers guys